<laughs> Before that, we're heading to Keith's old stomping ground of West Yorkshire, and that's taking a talk with a difference. <laughs> These days, rather than browsing travel books, many people going on city breaks are reaching for their phones to check out destinations on Instagram. Berlin, I'm in. And now, cities such as London, New York and Amsterdam are getting a boost from Instagram-inspired tours, showing how to capture the ultimate photo of your trip for social media. But... Could it, for instance, turn what's been called one of Britain's least liked cities into a major tourist attraction. Yes, I'm talking about Bradford. That would be a minor miracle. Bianca Lawrence loves her hometown and was gutted it was voted the least popular place in Britain to visit in a YouGov poll. So, at the point, Bianca, where you tell people you're from Bradford, what's a typical reaction you get? Go, eh, why do you live there? What do I live there? And I'm like, well, it's my home, so... I feel like it's not showcased as much. There's no, like, pictures or any memories in Bradford. People are never going to know about it. So, to change that, is Bianca prepared to tap into the power of social media and help out her hometown? Do you think you could do an Instagram tour that shows people Bradford as you see it? No, I don't feel confident enough to. The answer I was looking for was oh. yes. <laughs> oh. Bianca. Let's try again. Do you think you could run your own Instagram tour? Just... Yes. Thank you. <laughs> to give Bianca some inspiration, we're heading up the road 40 miles to York, voted Britain's most popular place to visit. Good morning, everybody. It's home to John Wright, who's been running his Insta tour for the past six months. I want to make sure that you've got a kind of nice array of images. Joining us today are 12 people from all over the world. This way, folks. John's tour takes in many of York's sites, including the historic Minster, the Museum Gardens and the castle. I saw a bit of a gap in the market. We pace the tour in such a way that gives people time to capture the images. How much do you get involved with the pictures? So I try and give sort of ideas about how to capture things from sort of good perspective. And I'd shoot up diagonally, get plenty of blue sky, and I promise you, you'll get a really dramatic shot. Do you think that doing your tours boosts the image of the city? The brilliant thing about Instagram, really, from the social media, is you know you've got these little postcards digitally being sent out to people all across the world. Just around this corner is one of the finest views of the West End of the Minster you're going to get in the city. It's time to do a bit of market research. The fact that this was advertised as an Instagram tour. Does that make a difference for you? I've got uh, quite a number of followers back home, especially the young women. And I think among my peers, I'm one of the first ones to come to York. So they'll be saying, look what Sharon's doing now. Exactly. And I'll make them want to come to York as well. They definitely come. I'm going to show you some pictures of Bradford. And right in front of my eyes, the influencing begins. So you've got the city hall. Oh, wow. By seeing these pictures, would you visit this place? Bradford should be my next stop. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it looks quite exciting. That's it for me today. So, how is Bianca feeling about her challenge? A bit daunting for you? A bit daunting, yes, but I've got this. I'm Bianca, and I'm going to take you on a Bradford tour. Fired up from her experience in York, the next day, it's time for Bianca to try out her own Insta tour on a group of students who've recently moved to the city. I want them to take pictures and put them on the social media and the hashtag Beautiful Bradford. I am quite nervous, but I think if I can conquer this, then Bradford will be on the map. I just feel like you can, when you like get a lower angle on the floor, you can always get a building in properly. Oh my gosh, let's take a picture in here. This is City Hall, so it's amazing and elegant, and it has been used in TV. <laughs> Can anyone guess? Yay! <laughs> the tour's been fantastic. Having only been in Bradford for two or three weeks, it's been really nice to have someone like Bianca, who's been born and raised here, to kind of show us around and see the beautiful sights. We're looking at social media more and more. It makes sense to, to take people on a tour, whether they could take pictures, share them, so more people could get connected and know more about Bradford. Oh, cute. That's cute. So is Bianca's tour helping to spread the love for Bradford worldwide? People actually enjoyed Bradford. They loved taking the pictures. I told them information that they didn't actually know. And I want to portray Bradford in a good light because it is a good place. You've just got to know where to look. 